welcome back to my channel and today I am coming to give you my birthing story that's right I have had the baby you guys so if you want to hear a little bit about my birthing story and how I had the baby stay tuned all right guys so if you guys remember I was pregnant and I finally had my son I had my son on November the 7th 2017 so today he is three weeks and a day old and it has definitely been a challenge. Um, I wanna do this a two part video. I wanna do the first video, I wanna do my birthing story where I talk about you know what all happened with me. And then the second, second video I'll do a postpartum video where I'll talk about life after having the kid. And if you stay tuned towards the end, I have a little cameo of a uh, little JC Poo, he'll be in the video. So if you want to see my son, you'll stay tuned. To, stay tuned towards the end. So um, my birthing story. So my best friend is also pregnant, and uh, she had her baby shower uh, November set, November fourth. And so I was part of the hosting committee of the baby shower. So I did baby shower at nine months pregnant, y'all. Y'all could imagine I was beat at the end of the night and. That baby shower, I think that particular baby shower took me right into pre preterm labor. Uh, so all Saturday night, I was having what I thought was Braxton Hicks contractions, but they were really preterm labor contractions and they were crucial all night long, all night long, all night long, all night long. And so um, Sunday morning, I got up, ate breakfast and everything was okay. I still was having contractions that just wasn't um like there was that night and then um sunday night around 3 p.m i had a killer contraction i was like whoa now nah, i don't know what this is i don't know why it's hurting so bad but it came and then it passed and i was like okay i'm not gonna alert my husband because if i alert him he's going to get up and he's going to be all over the place and we're going to have backpack and we're going to be down so i'm just going to wait it out because he has a tendency to be over prepared so that contraction passed and then about four o'clock i had another one that's similar to same and it started hurting right around my pelvic area and it's just this tight cramping feeling your stomach is like contracting to the contractual degree and it just the pain or whatever and so I was like husband I think this might be it I'm not sure and so I woke him up he was supposed to go to work that month so we had a scheduled c-section for the same day that he was actually born but it was going to be later on in the day and um the reason why i ended up scheduling a c-section is because the doctor felt like the baby was going to be way too big to push out of my little bitty body and so she felt like the best thing at the time to do would be to do a scheduled c-section well um like i said monday morning early morning um i started having serious contractions so um what we decided to do i, I gave the doctor a call um, I talked to the nurse. The nurse, she said, well, if you're bleed, I told her I, I was starting to bleed um, down below. And so she's like, okay, well, is it a blood? Do you feel like you can fill a whole pad full of blood? I was like, no. She's like, okay, wait till that part happens to where you can fill a whole panty liner full of blood. Then give us a call back and then we'll, we'll submit you to come in. So I said, okay. So I went to um, put, I went to go back to bed to lay down. And then all of a sudden, I heard this pop, like pop, like a mucus, like a mucus plug pop. I was like, what the hell is that? So I got, I came in here, went to the bathroom, and it was a little bit of fluid, just a little bit of fluid. Then I went to lay back down, then I got back up, and my whole, everything below was wet, soaking wet. And so that's when I realized that my water broke. And so I was like, oh God, my water broke. So we called the nurse again and I told her, I believe my water has broke um, because I heard a pop and my whole, my underwear was wet. And she said, okay, it's time. Go ahead and get your stuff together and come on in. So uh, that day, my husband, he was already, he didn't already back the car out the drive. He had already back the car in the driveway. He he had already had everything prepared. Baby bag prepared. His bag prepared. My bag was prepared. 
Um, he was putting up the pack and play with the with the thing. He was putting all the stuff up for the baby to be prepared for when the baby come out. So he was walking around here like a chicken with the neck cut off. And then, so now it was up to me to just try to get myself dressed and get dressed to go to the hospital in the middle of having contractions. And these contractions was serious contractions. So uh, I got myself dressed, got ourselves together, packed up all our stuff, um, all the things that we felt like we needed. And then we got in the car and we drove over to the hospital. Of course, by now it's like seven o'clock in the morning, and so at this time, the car, all the people who go to work in the morning is up, and so we stuck in traffic. He like a bat out of hell driving. I'm like, just calm down, just relax, don't rush it. We're gonna get to the hospital on time. You know, you don't have to rush it. Don't be anxious, cause him making him anxious, him being anxious makes me anxious, and so. It just, and it's not good for the baby. And so, of course, during the whole car ride, I'm having them with contractions. And at this point, they were like every five minutes, the contractions were coming. And so I could feel them down below or whatever. And so it's just like this excruciating pain of like like a like a period, can, like when you cramp for your period, but it's like a hard cramp. And then it's, your stomach gets really hard. And it's as though it's basically trying to push the baby down into the uterus. We get to the hospital, um, I check in, they put me in the hospital. The first thing the lady did was check the fluid that was coming out, um, that, was, that, that had released itself from my body. And she said, yes, your, your water has broke, so it is time. So <clears throat> they pretty much prepared me. And so the doctor came in and she asked me, do I want to go ahead and try to have a vaginal birth instead of having a C-section that I had already scheduled and I said okay yes let's 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 try it if the baby's gonna come on his own he obviously is ready to come so let's go ahead and try it so um, immediately they take they took off all my clothes and then the very first thing they did was hook up a baby monitor to my belly and then they hook up a contraction monitor to my belly as well um, and so they can monitor the baby's heartbeat and so they were monitoring the baby's heartbeat they asked me did I want the epidural yes I want the epidural, yes. I want that. So um, the lady said, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get the anesthesiologist to come out here and get the epidural in. Honey, let's let's have a conversation about this epidural though. Child, that man came out there, the lady they put that they made my husband get out of the room. They put the epidural uh, for the, the anesthesiologist came. Anesthesiologist came in. Um, they had me bent over, slumped over on the bed. He stuck that needle in my back, and I liable to just die. Y'all, that shit was so fucking painful, and I had to tell him to wait in between contractions because had he had tried to do that in between the contraction, it would just oh, oh. Just the thought, my husband said he could hear me screaming all the way down the hallway. That's just how painful, and I am not a person for pain. So he got the epidural in, and it started working. Once the epidural got in, I stopped feeling contractions. I completely, I didn't feel nothing. My whole lower body from my nipple down was numb. I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't move my leg. I couldn't feel the baby. Well, I couldn't feel the baby kick, but I could not feel nothing um, lower down and so after that I had also they also had me on a liquid diet so I couldn't eat anything so basically that day we basically spent the time trying to wait for my body to to dilate and my body was not dilating properly so they put me on Pitocin and we waited and they monitored the, my baby well every time when they put me on Pitocin his heart rate started to drop a little bit so they would try to move me over to, you know, I switched my position to try to see if they can get it up or switch with it, but it just, his heart rate wasn't rising. So they took me off the Pitocin to see if I could uh, start uh, dilating on my own, but I still wasn't dilating. And so they put me back on the Pitocin. Um, and of course, this time I'm not feeling my contractions. My body is having its contractions. Um, the baby heart rate was fine. But again, when they put me again on the Pitocin, my, I still wasn't dilating, so I probably went from one, I went from dilating from one to six, and that was like at 12 midnight, 
the next day. So I had been sitting in the hospital from like eight that morning all the way till midnight and I had only dilated to six inches. And so the doctor was like, well, we're just gonna have to go ahead and take the baby because he's been sitting in there far too long without the water. And so um, let's go ahead and take the baby. And so I said, okay, fine. And so they pretty much prepped me for surgery. Um, they, of course, they put a catheter in um, to, you know, so I could drain properly. They also had a line, they put my IV in, they had a line in to keep, to, for some water to keep him in, um, I forgot what they call it, but like some saline solution to try to keep the baby in um, safely. And then um, once, all the, once they realized this was what we were gonna do, they gave my husband a scrub so he could change. Um, and then that was it. All I remember is being wheeled off to the next floor um, then they laid me completely flat on the hospital bed. They switched me over to a new hospital bed and then they gave me something and I was just laid out. All I know is within 15 minutes, 15, 30 minutes by 2.18 a.m. I had given birth to my son. They had pushed him. All I felt was, I couldn't even feel the lady cut. All I felt was a pressure. They pushed me down on my stomach and boop. And next thing you know, I heard my baby crying. And he was born and that's my birthing story all right y'all so here he is <laughs> trying to feed on my arm my baby probably hungry jesse come look at the camera say hi baby hey mommy doodle boo here's mommy's doodle boo jace he won't even look at the camera <laughs> jc look baby look Chase, honey, he not even look at the camera, y'all. He, I don't know what he looking at. Let's see. Look, honey, look. There you go. There you go, the baby. Hey, say hey to me. Yes, y'all. So this is my son, Jace. Y'all say hi to YouTube, baby. This is my baby's YouTube debut. He is so healthy I love my son and he's just a big old boy he is three weeks and look at all of his bigness <gasps> he is a big old boy and him is hungry right now so yes guys that's pretty much it for this video I'm gonna do a postpartum video as well um so you guys can see that but yeah he's home with me now we're about to go change pamper and get something to eat and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching bye say bye jc oh he he not having that he, he him 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 don't want to say bye jace he is so <laughs> he is so could care less about the video. Okay, guys. Bye.